win Minnesota. That was President Trump's message during a recent rally in Minneapolis, where he vowed to fight to win the land of 10,000 lakes and the votes of miners. We spoke to an Iron Range author about the president's goals of turning Minnesota red. For the next 13 months, we are going to fight with all of our heart and soul, and we are going to win the great state of Minnesota. The last time around in 2016, longtime Iron Range author Aaron Brown says President Trump came closer than expected in a traditionally blue state. If you look at the states that were reasonably close in 2016 that he did not win, there's a short list and Minnesota is one of the few ones. In visits to the state, the president expressed his support for the mining industry, but Brown says a recent statement wasn't exactly correct. Uh, President Trump said he opened the Iron Range after President Obama had closed it. That's not true. He's referring to the shutdown of mines on the Iron Range in 2015 due to illegal steel dumping. After a process of hearings and visits to the area, President Obama had implemented some strategic tariffs on foreign steel, and that had begun to work. Leading to mines opening back up and people going back to work. What he could say that would have been more accurate is that he, during the time he's been in office, the fortunes of range mines have improved. That is true. That's due in part to when President Trump took office in 2017. He also imposed tariffs. I place tariffs on foreign aluminum and foreign steel. And I'm also fighting back against years of chronic trade abuse from China and the supply chain of China which was unbreakable, is now breaking wide open. The president also spoke about restoring mineral exploration in the Superior National Forest for projects like Twin Metals. Brown says he believes mining will continue to be a difficult topic of conversation in the political field, and for candidates, it's all about the message. When you can boil it down to a really simple message, like one candidate is for mining and one candidate is against mining, well, that makes it... Uh, simple for a voter. Uh, it's just uh, difficult because it's not always the accurate impression of what's what's happening. We're also learning that today President Trump announced a trade agreement with China saying he struck a deal for 50 billion dollars worth of agricultural products.